you. Yo, it is your boy Incognito Mel TV. Just figured I'd do a little introduction video of myself. What up? Your boy Mel, 32. I'm in I'm in New York for now, but I do want to get the hell out of here. I just don't know where the hell to go because you know everything is like in a muck. But other than that, I just wanted to introduce myself, show you the kind of cars I got. A couple of them, the ones that are really close to me, the ones that I like a lot. And um, I don't know, just subscribe to the channel. I'm, this is my first time doing it, so just bear with me. You're going to see a whole bunch of new things, probably. A whole bunch of things that you probably didn't expect to see on this channel. But either way, I hope to keep you guys entertained and hope we can take this to the moon. Not even hopefully. We are going to take this to the moon. We're going to spend spread nothing but positivity along the way. Try to keep the bad vibes away from us and just live with people who are like-minded with the car community. Anything. Just show love. Highlight your boy, man. So, oh, decided to do a little tour and introduce myself to everybody. Incognito Mel. On the check-in. Showing a couple cars out. A couple of the cars, not all of them. But this is just a, if, if you select that's in close range that I got. Let's get started. This, we have the the daily, the tank, the the the, the warrior. I had this car. It's a 2010 Honda Cross Tour EXL V6. Had this car since 2017, and I didn't think I was gonna do anything to it, but I ended up doing something to it. Don't mind the bird shit. She's a, she's dirty. She's still a work in progress. Had a couple little hiccups. See the fenders all messed up. But hey, never know. Under the hood is fairly stock for the most part. I mean, this thing, I tried to be a little, you know, put a little heat tape on there. I don't know what the hell I was thinking, honestly. I ain't even gonna hold you. I was just bored. That's what the hell it was. But hey, it's all about the effort. Um, got the RV6, pre cat deletes. Even though I don't even have a cat in the back, delete the third cat. Um, we got the. Eco mode, the muzzler, it's plugged in. I mean, like I said, it's fairly stock. A couple things I do want to do is get the 3.7 intake manifold with the spacer and do a couple more little things, get K-Tuner, but for the most part, that's pretty much it for that. Coilovers are BC coilovers for a 2009 Acura TSX. They don't ride bad. Everybody else is saying, you know, they, they use them with these cars, so I tried it out, definitely fit. No issues. Got the wheels for us still, even though they are cooked. Got to get these things redone. But they are Volk SF winnings. Staggered set. Definitely not bad. Definitely gives the car a nice little vibe. But we got the OEM rear lip that's all beat up. Along with the rear bumper. Oh, and the visor. See? Not too crazy. Limo tent. Hood risers, or should I say bonnet risers? Um, probably wanna know where all this is going to. Open up the trunk, show you guys. Give me one second. Boom. And that's what I have. Two 12 inch kickers. Um, Comp VX. I had these a minute ago. Back in the day. Don't mind the, pump, the pine cones. A little smell good, but I got two amps. I'm looking to redo all this. Not even gonna keep all this in here, but got the two batteries over there. Or I think there's, yeah, there's two batteries. Two batteries over there. That was pretty much it. Broke the trunk sensor. The trunk doesn't uh, tell me if it's open or not, but hey, we can live with that. See, do that. But yeah, this is the girl right here, man. Then this is the 92 Honda Civic. EG6 SIR from Japan. Original Y53. Not none of that repainted from red or white or any other bullshit. Get that shit right in there right now. Um, did get resprayed though. Back to its original glory. Um, I had the car now for almost 10 years. Crazy to say that, but got this car as a shell in Jersey. Followed this car all my life. It's crazy because um, I actually used to lie to kids. In middle school, 
I used to uh, look up cars and shit in computer room. And this car came up all the time. Didn't even realize this was the same car until, I, you know, a month after me owning the car. I was like, oh, shit. The manifestation is really powerful, so make sure you practice that. But anyway, a couple little things. Did a full restoration on it. You know, don't mind me. I'm trying to hold a cough right now, so. But yeah, for the most part, it's really not bad. I didn't want to go too crazy with it. I didn't want to do, do too, too much. I didn't want to do too much. Special wing, um, CPR, competition rims. These are another another thing about these rims too. It's crazy because like I watched a show called MTV True Life. I'm a street racer, and uh, Eugene had the four door DA, and uh, he had the he had these wheels on not these exact wheels, but he had these wheels on his car. And I always I like the style. Of it. It's like that real raw grittiness, and I've always said I wanted them. And a friend of mine's named Will had them, and I had to scoop them from. Even though them shits is mad fucking money. Excuse my language, but damn. Whatever. I guess that's what, you know, what it is, but they look good. Can't forget about the vision mirrors. But you can't see shit out of them at all. Like, I can't see shit. It's just blowing the wind the whole night. <coughs> See? Oh, I'm trying to hold that car. <coughs> but listen, a lot of people always ask me about this front bumper. It's a sport car motion front bumper. I mean, I don't know how many were made. I ain't gonna hold you. I be lying sometimes. I'm like, yeah, man, there's only five made, but I really don't know. I know I don't really see these a lot, and I know when I when it did pop up for sale, it was a must, especially for the price. So it's definitely something that's one off. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, I'll pop the hood, we'll get into it, go over a couple details and let y'all see what I was working with. Mind you, everything you see here, I've done. The only thing I didn't do to this car myself was the paint, bodywork, and the brake line tone. And obviously, the alignment, but other than that, that's pretty much it. I did everything, every single last thing. I had a couple help from, uh, I had some help from some friends of mine, but for the most part, I want to say, a good 85% of the work done to this car was all done by me. So, get on, get a, get, we'll, we'll get on to, uh, I can't even talk, we'll get the bonnet open. And I'll let you guys see what's, what's powering this beast. Boom, look at that, look at that, look at that. Here we have a USDM B18 C1. 420 over, full type uh, ITR valve train. You can see the scope tube and take manifold. Uh, it definitely boogies. Can't say, you know, can't say it doesn't. I'm being really transparent about this, my builds, because I know a lot of people, they be curious and whatnot. Gotta spread, gotta spread love. You know, even though there might be some people that, that spread hate, but we're just gonna be positive. We're, we're gonna set the we gonna change the game, go set a different barrier. And I gotta change those filters up there. These things is looking pretty bad. See, I don't have no problem with pointing out flaws and shit with my car. I have nothing to hide. It's just this damn car. But um, but yeah, as you can see, spoon wires, PLM exhaust manifold, heat wrap by me, um, Honda access, headlight covers. I had got these when I, around the time when I first got the car, broke them, and didn't realize how much they were worth, so I had to come back and scramble. And uh, that fixed. I did that myself. I tried to do my best, but hey, it still works. And I don't even plan on selling them ever, so hey, whatever. Got the KLM Tuck Rad set up going on here. And yeah, got the Passport JDM intake. Uh, I think, what is it called? Level 7 oil uh, breather cap set up. Um, that's the IG. Passport mounts. This time we got some real passport mounts. I bought some fake ones. Didn't even know. Just fell apart on me. Crazy shit. Yo. 
Got the S2000 uh, clutch set up, nice clutch set up. 2001, oh, I only got the camera point there. 2001 Acura CL Type S brake booster and master cylinder set up. Um, tough lines done by previous dude I used to hang with, Dave Norman, did a pretty decent job. A um, couple shows. Been to a little. The Honda OK. Ooh. Car's a little dirty, man. I mean, I don't really drive it. And when I do drive it, if I go somewhere, I, you know, I wash it and clean it out, but it just sits for the most part. But yeah, we're going to keep this show on the road and move on to the next car. So I hope y'all are ready. Peace. Well, not peace, but you know. On to, man, just on to the next one, damn it. Here she is, guys. Christine. 1998. Honda Integra Type R 98 spec, baby. Race base edition. I'ma say that. I'm saying. Yeah, damn what you said. This thing is straight from the motherland. Had this car for about a year and a half now. And honestly, thought about selling this car at mad different times. Tried to sell it. But Christine just don't want to leave. Now the reason why I call her Christine. I don't know if y'all seen that movie. This movie named Christine about a car. Red Bel Air, I believe it was, and just was on a killing spree, just doing mad shit. Had a minor's own. This car has a minor's own. Car just be doing shit. But pretty soon I'm gonna get everything squared away with it. Get everything situated. And, you know, it's title. All my cars are title and then my name and stuff, so. Like I said, I just don't drive these shits like that. I need coilovers for it. I sprayed the wheels to gunmetal. They were white. I think I did a pretty good job. A lot of people thought they were OEM. Not bad for a spray can. But, but yeah, it's definitely not bad. Car came from uh, New Mexico, out in Roswell. Shout out to Burt. Definitely a cool dude. Um, yeah, I mean, the car is just it's, it's what it is. I mean, it's a Type R. Never thought I was going to even have this car per se because I was just at HMO telling my wife that I'm never in my life going to be able to afford a Type R and boom, look at here we are with a Type R. So, especially this car because I asked about this car about five years ago and I was never getting no answers. Yeah, Bert, you wasn't answering me at all. And out of nowhere, I was looking for a car. It was either this or Evo, a right-hand drive Evo, but they sold that within minutes of them posting it. So, I went after this. Took a trip out there. Uh, I got some video footage of that. Took a trip out there, flew and put it on a trailer and drove it back. Uh, definitely can't complain. I mean, I like the car. I ain't gonna hold you. I make fun of the car a lot, but I like it. It just doesn't feel real half the time I still have this car. So that's why I guess I go about it the way I go about it. But yeah, we got the Gen 1 spoon lip. Shout out to my boy Casey, actually. He's the one who painted this car. Casey? Fister is the one who painted this car, did all the body work, got me situated. Took him a while, but through all the trials and tribulations, he got me right, yo. I ain't even gonna hold you. Without him, there wouldn't be none of this going on. None of this. He is the foundation. He is the reason why. And I wanna get him, that's why I'm giving him his flowers now. So, sorry to jump back to this shit, but I just had to let y'all know that before we get any further. He, yo, he's the reason why we even running, yo. Cause I got the swap and shit from him too. So, big shout out to Casey Fister again. Um, that's, that, that's my boy, yo, for real. That's my boy. But yeah, back to this. Oh, so, and look, Casey also gave me the spoon front lip. It was a Gen 1. I had hooked him up with a uh, USDM ITR shell that was for sale and it had a JDM front. He wasn't gonna use the JDM front, so he just tossed me the lip. I don't care if it's beat up. It gives it a little bit more character. It's a Gen 1, what do you expect? I got Gen 1 spoon mirrors on the car. Gen 1 full uh, exhaust. See the interior is pretty much gutted. This is exactly how I'm gonna keep it. Got the rear seats, I got this rear seat delete here. New moldings for the doors, but I don't even need them, but I just got them just because. But yeah, man, I mean, that's how we living over here, man. <laughs> yeah, can't really complain. Definitely can't complain. 
This car was muging out before too. That was the crazy part about it. it. Had everything muging on it. Yeah, I know you see that little spot on the corner. Don't worry, guys. This whole car is gonna get redone. I'm gonna like really redo this car into something crazy, just for me. Just for me. But yeah, let's get to uh, under the hood. I mean the bonnet. We hear that up right now. But uh, but yeah, other than that, let's move on to the next phase, man. And boom, there you have it. We have 98 spec. Not the original motor and trans to the car, but it's still correct. Got the 98 spec ITR, full engine and trans, with a lot of spoon goodies. A lot of spoon goodies, too many to go over, honestly. Might not look like it, but there's a lot going on. But for the most part, you can see we're sitting pretty good. Sitting pretty good. Definitely can't complain. Got the oil cooler, ready oil cooler up front. This car rips. I ain't gonna hold you. This car pulls like a mother for me. Uh, yeah, man. It's pretty much everything I think I covered with this car. Well, with everything, honestly. Everything is pretty much covered. I mean, I'm probably gonna try to get more of the other cars out that I have stored away, so go from there but until then man I, I thank you guys for watching the video and if you want to see more stuff i want to you know just give me some more motivation man show some love share the video show some love to your boy man trust me i appreciate it all i ain't one of them, them dudes that go hollywood and get out get get away i want to i want to get everybody out so we can all be cruising so let's get this going start something with this community man shout out to jaspec auto pkny Follow us on, uh, on uh, Instagram and the Players Academy. That's another thing I'm starting up for car enthusiasts just like myself who are real players to the game, meaning you are truly enthused to the game. You ain't no sucker, man. Suckers don't have fun. So, this is what we're doing. Um, have a good day, y'all. This is my first. This is like the intro video, so thank you guys for watching, man, for real. I appreciate y'all. Have a good day.